Hola, soy Samantha y hoy estamos en la, estamos en la estatua de libertad. Uh, so te voy a enseñar. Primero tenemos el libro. And it, this, this sketch was drawn by Bartholdi. Shows the Statue of Liberty interior structure, which was you. You ultimately designed by Gustav Eiffel. It was Eiffel's ingenious design that supported the massive Statue of Liberty. Maso de Ordizia. So that's what we got from Undate. Now we're going down. One of the seven wonders of, of the ancient world, the Col Colossus of Rhodes, was perhaps the statue's most influential prototype. No actual imagine exists, but this 1679 shows that torch-bearing statue of the creek good hell is striding the, the road. Harbor modern analysis suggests that it was 110 through 120 feet tall, approximately 33 to 36 meters. Then we have the sizes of Statue of Liberty. Back to where this is the inside of the Statue of Liberty. How they built it, we created it. Let's go on to the, now let's go on to the foot of the Statue of Liberty. So this is the foot. How does it look like? No, it's actually slack. Now to the how, how did they recreate it? They created it like that. With these tools, they use it to recreate. And recreated it in the statue's suit in 1986 for the museum exhibit French metal workers from the firm Les Mathilde Champagne's Forge Interior Armatures Bars. The statue armature bars function both as medical connections, both as statue, sta both as mechanical connections and supplemental reinforcements holding over 300 individual thin copper pieces of the statue skin together the giving rigidity to the statue's form now up to the up to the now we're gonna see how they almost how they built the skin it's a scale. How, how did they do the mold? Uh, now, up to here, how they recreated the mold. And look at how it turned out. And now, this is how it. And this is how it recreated. We use these tools to do, to recreate it. And those tools. Oh, and those moves. Yeah. And those two, that tool too. And that tool to like and straighten that, it up. And that moves. with the thing and that. This is how the foot came out. 
to make a mold of it. To make a mold of it? They use like that. During the, during the 1986 Kenneth Neal restoration of the Statue of Liberty, French metal workers from the film firm Les Maltes-Trimpines used original repulsed techniques, including plaster cast and Angla and La German at precise measurements to recreate the statue's fit for the museum exhibit. This is how they build it. I know, it's cool. Now back to where we were. Let's go see. Now, we're gonna see more. Let's go. Here, the legendary books. Here we have the books that he made. The books. Liberty, the statues. Here are some of his recreations. Some of the things he, the people signed for the Statue of Liberty. Gen Canada. Canadio Ma Monument Book. Here we are. We encourage we encourage lists and signatures accompanied by a plugged nickel in every workshop, associate, and meeting place. <coughs> yeah, Statue of Liberty, many ones, and then here we have cans A Victor Hugo. Here we have a lot of stuff. Now we're gonna see how they wanted to recreate the bottom part of the sculpture. Here we have the first one. We have the first one. They wanted to build almost this one. There's he, there's a second one, which is very precisely kind of boring for me. I don't know how far you guys. And now for this one that has stairs with a tiny door and it's very bigger than all of them. Let's go see. I like it, actually. It is actually the one of the best, but the recreation they used was... No. So now let's move on to have that. Returning soldiers are moved by the st sign of the statue in the harbor. Then we have the Statue of Liberty. Está la bandera de México. No? Sí, ahí está. Ahí está. Oh, sí, ahí. Creek Fake with the congregant lips and strings of the book. Give me your child, the poor, the little. We have this, a funny, funny one. Oh, to the Lego one, the Statue of Liberty. Very impressive. That one's super easy to do. Then we have Clue Me You're Hungry, Matt, Sacha Liberty, Murphy, Mimi, Snoopy, Ducky, Liberty, Barbie, oh my god, uh, Bugs Bunny, and a dog. There we have all. Now we're going to show you one of the where they recreated a clock, a mug, looks like a mug, a lamp, six, six plates of hair, famous recreation, and a lot of tools, utensils, and spins. No forks at all. Impressive. They put, they built a lamp, a music recording. 
we have more. I'm gonna read this up on this. Now we have a glass one and then a bowl. For this, we're gonna go see some more. So we'll pick this one. Poster for Earth Day 1991. Activists have long views of the statue images to protest social and economic equalities. The organizers of Earth Day 1991 were uh, in seven pointed tabs crown to speak to environment conflict. Cobra Hands, Smith Design, Museum, Art Resources, New, New York. Back to here. Well, that's it for today. Oh, also, one last thing. We are gonna go see. We're gonna go see the light. Now here's the face. Then the original torch, viewed by millions as a symbol both of the nation and of the statue itself. The torch was uh, alternated many times after it, its 1886. Dedication damage beyond repair. The torch exhibit here was removed from the statue in 1984. The flame the statue now holds it is a glided closed copper shell lit from outside. Truth the sculptor Frederick Augusti Bartholomew's original design. So it de they de damaged it, so that's why they took it off. And they told so them in 1886. Now we have the statue's face. That's its nose, boogers, its nose, face, eyes. So then, this is the design. So that was so they made the line. So this is it. So here we have the mask, the lips. It was very good. Model of the this face. This full-scale copper replica of the face of the Statue of Liberty was made using the same technique as the original. This is the replica of the face. It's bigger than me. So that's it for today. Bye. And my name is Samantha Hans. Bye.